Hello and welcome to Top Stories on Viewer Television. My name is Patient Sidi. The Department of State Services told the Federal Capital Territory High Court on that suspended central bank the Nigeria Governor Godwin Emifele will flee in the country if granted bail. The Attorney General of the Federation also su supported the argument of the DSS describing Emifele as a flight risk. The former head of the Apex Bank in challenging his detention by the DSS and denying him seeing his family members and lawyers. At the resumption of hearing, both DSS and O AGF stated this in separate counter affidavits filed in a fundamental rights enforcement suit by the suspended CBN chief. The housing allowance for members of the National Assembly may cost the country about 5.87 billion naira yearly, with the annual allocation of 5.87 billion naira in four years. The federal government will spend 23.48 billion naira on the lawmakers' accommodation. The allowance are based on data collated from a document obtained from the website of the Revenue Mobilization and Fiscal Allocation Commission. From the total amounts, the housing allowance of the senators will cost about 1.38 billion naira yearly. The amount for the Senate President and Deputy Senate President was not disclosed by the, RM, by the RMAFC. Therefore, the amount covers only the allowance for the 107 senators. Ex-Governor Sam Autumn of Bernie State has been released from custody of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. The former governor granted the invite, uh, invitation of the commission around 10 a.m. on Tuesday. He drove into the McCordy Zonal Office of the agency, which is located at Alo Gordon Street in the state capital. The former governor's media aide, Taver Akase, and Principal Special Assistant on Special Duties, Abraham Kwangu, were cited with him detectives grew or term over the financial expenditure of Benue under him. Now President Bola Ahmed Tinibu arrived in Paris, France to participate in the review and signing of a new global financial pact. His plane touched down at 6.47 p.m. and he was received by top government officials. The pact signing, it was gathered, will place uh, the vulnerable countries on priority list for support and investment following the devastating impact of climate change, energy crisis and after effect of the COVID-19 pandemic. The two-day summit to be hosted by French President Emmanuel Macron with the team Focus 2030 will hold between tomorrow and Friday at Palais Bongriat Macron announced the plan to host the summit during the COP27 summit in Egypt. A federal high court in Abuja has fixed July 20th for judgment in a suit file by leader of proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, Namdi Kanu, against the Department of State Services to allow him unhindered access to his medical doctor. Uh, Justice Binta Iyako fixed the date after Kanu's counsel, Chief Mike Ezekome, and lawyer to the DSS, A.M. Dun Dunlami, adopted their processes, or processes and presented their argument for and against the suit. Recall that Kanu, through his team of lawyers led by Ezekomis, had issued the DSS and its director general as first and second respondent in the matter. Kanu prayed the court for permission to apply for an order of mandamus to compel the DSS to allow him have unhindered access to his medical doctor, among others. The People's Democratic Party and its candidate Atiku Abubakar have continued to express frustration over difficulties in obtaining requisite electoral materials from the Independent National Electoral Commission to prosecute their petition against the declaration of Bola Tinibu 
and the All Progressive Congress as winner of the February 25th presidential poll. At yesterday, proceeding at the Presidential Election Petition Court, the former Vice President and his political party, who are expected to close their petition on today, uh, not only bemoaned the failure of INEC to supply them with relevant documents, but the petitioners were, able, were also unable to tender more documents due to improper arrangement and sorting of documents. And that's how much we can take on Top Stories. My name is Patient City. Please stay tuned and enjoy the rest of our programs.